Hey there everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us. Now this is before I got my immersion blender, but we're going to make some homemade tomato soup with some French onion grilled cheese. Let's stick around. First things first, we got to get into this can of tomatoes here. You're going to want to look for these whole San Marzano type tomatoes. This is going to make our tomato soup absolutely delicious. All right, so the next step, we're gonna be getting in some garlic. Don't let it go too long, just till it starts to smell just a little bit fragrant. And then we're gonna add in that can of tomatoes and we're gonna start to build some flavor here. Now, as those San Marzano tomatoes start to warm up a little bit, we gotta prep the onions. And here we're just gonna go real quick, at kind of a rough chop. You need to peel off that exterior layer and then try to get as close as you can to having the slices be about the same size. You know, I don't have the best knife skills, but they're not terrible. And you know what, for some reason, I, maybe I'm lucky, I don't necessarily get watery eyed from slicing or cutting up onions, do you? Once we get the onion sliced, we're going to want to get them start caramelizing. I like to use a little bit of veggie sprinkles, a little bit of olive oil and butter. I'll throw the link to the veggie sprinkles in the description. With the soup here with the tomatoes just starting to get them warm. More ingredients will come later. But if you know anything about caramelizing onions, you know that you need to kind of stick around and kind of baby them a little bit. Make sure they're not sticking to the bottom of the pan, just starting to get some nice color. And here we're just kind of popping back in to tend to these onions a little bit more. Every time you do this, you're going to notice that they deepen a little bit more in color. And this is what you're looking for. So now we're ready to kind of blend the San Marzano tomatoes. Now, again, remember this is, I was filming this and making this before I got my immersion blender as a gift. So here I'm using my Ninja and I would just break it up into batches and get a little bit of a pulse on it first. I don't necessarily like totally chunky tomato soup, but I don't mind for there to be a few chunks in there. So I'm just giving it a quick pulse a few times before I try to really blend it in. And then we're gonna get it back onto the oven for some additional ingredients. And now we're gonna get this back on the stove to add butter, some heavy cream, and some of our favorite herb seasonings. Choose which ones you like best. Next up is the bread component for this. I know that I'm going to want pieces that are slightly thicker because it's not just going to have one type of cheese, it's going to have two. And they're going to be these caramelized onions in there. So I'm going to cut these a little bit thicker and I want a piece of bread that's going to be able to toast really nicely. So you choose a type of bread that you like best. Once we have added the heavy whipping cream, the butter, and some of the herbs into our soup, we're going to put that on the back burner. It's going to get just continue to get warm. I'm using the same pan here that I used for the caramelized onions, and we're going to start to build our grilled cheese sandwich. I'm using Munster and smoked Gouda. I was hoping that these would be kind of really gooey, maybe a little bit stringy when you cut it. Either way, I really like those two cheeses. You can see there that I almost forgot to put in those caramelized onions, but I went ahead and I got those put in. It would have been really bad to forget those. This is the whole point of this sandwich. But I remembered what I was doing, and here I'm just going to turn it over a few different times, trying to get a nice even toast on both sides. You can get it as dark as you like. At the end of the day, I wanted to have something that I can kind of uh, dip into my soup, so I like it a little bit toastier and something that can kind of withstand being dunked into my favorite soup of all time, which, which is just a really good tomato soup. I hope you guys really enjoyed this recipe. It's super simple. It was really easy given the constraints of space and RV life. And until next time, I hope you consider living life outside of the work you do and remember to feed yourself well.